Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Pat here. Well, I did something the other day and I caught a little bit of flack from people. I agree. It wasn't the safest or the smartest thing to do. But uh, I figured I'd go ahead and uh, catch up with you a little bit on that. So I made another video to show that there was no damage to the truck at all. And I wanna say, just because I do certain things certain ways, doesn't mean it's always a bright idea. But needless to say, I was being careful. Granted, I didn't have on my PPE. I was testing out a new piece of equipment that I had not run yet. So yes, PPE should have been worn. And if you're wondering what PPE is, it's personal protection equipment for hearing, visibility, bumps, so on and so forth. I wasn't wearing chainsaw chaps or anything like that. I was operating a chainsaw, but I was operating it in a very confined space. I was running it in the back of my truck. Not always the best idea. Actually, it's never a good idea. It's too restrictive, too many obstacles, and too many chances of uh, damage or injury. That I get, that I understand, and that I could see. So, well, I'm gonna show the full video of the testing the chainsaw. I'm gonna show the bed of the truck and that there's no damage. So please keep comments kind and respectful. And well, remember, just because I do it, doesn't mean that you should. Because this is how I do things when I'm doing, and it's not always the safest for everyone. It's not recommended for everyone. It's not recommended for anyone in all honesty. And I know that a bunch of my YouTube community will see this video and say, what were you thinking? Well, I agree. Just letting you know that right now. I agree, that was not the best way to do things. But by the same token, I accomplished my mission of testing out a brand new saw. That was my mission. It was not to go ahead and do production out of the bed of a pickup for full bucking or anything like that. So I only did a few of the top logs. And well, let's see how it went.
Back of the truck. They got a little dirty though. Can't get any better than that. Happy Veterans Day, everybody. Hello, ladies and gentlemen. Pat here from the small wood lot. Well, yesterday I posted me cutting the pictures of posted a video of me cutting firewood out of the back of the truck here. And everybody thought that, well, I hit the side of the truck with the uh saw. Well, I'm gonna show you something. Here's the bed rail from the right-hand side of the truck where I was cutting it. Yeah, there was a close call once or twice, but no hit. And, well, give me a second, I'll close up the tailgate. Again, no hit. But I'll admit, that is not a good practice. Cutting firewood in the back of the truck. Okay, folks, so as you can see, in that video I showed you there was no damage to the truck whatsoever. And granted, the truck was a $200 truck and is a $200 truck anyway. Yes, that's right. I bought it for $200. It was an upgrade from my old way of bringing in firewood, which was shown in my first video. But as everything goes and says, don't do as I do all the time or any of the time. It might not be right. It might not be safe. It might not be... Uh, showing common sense, which I try to preach about and talk about a lot in my videos, because it's something that people are lacking nowadays. A bucking stand, placing it on the ground, placing it between logs is far safer than cutting it in the back of a truck. That is common sense, preferably a bucking rack, okay? I don't have one. Everything here is makeshift. Do with what I have in order to make it work. Not always the best practice. Maybe I'll build myself a bucking rack one day. Now, what do I recommend? I recommend you being safe. Adopting and adapting to safe practices. Okay, I admit, I have to start changing my ways before I get hurt. Or shall I say hurt more than what I've been. But in all honesty, let's stay safe. Let's stay kind. Let's start doing things wisely. Let's treat each other with kindness, respect, honor, dignity. If you like my videos, give me a thumbs up. Leave a comment, subscribe. We can all get along. Leave, but when, I, when you leave your comments, please, let's not use choice little four letter words. I have families that watch these videos and read the comments. And while the parents might go ahead and uh, read some of the comments to their children, I don't wanna have them to feel like they need to worry about censorship of comments. You'll notice I, I leave out a lot of four letter words in my videos. I don't talk that way, okay? I don't even use slang jargon from the military in my videos because others might take it wrong. I don't want that. I want a nice, strong, friendly, kind community 
I don't mind criticism. I don't mind it one bit because it can help me grow or others grow. So don't read my videos wrong in that respect. And well, I'm sitting here this morning brewing my coffee and cooking my sausage on the stove. I'm getting ready to eat here shortly. So y'all have a good day. And remember, don't always do as I do.